Welcome to China's incredible NEVs. My name is Alex and I've been driving for over 36 years. My current location is the Jingtao Big Data Valley. There's 1,000 companies here and they are in emerging industries such as big data, cloud computing and cross-border e-commerce. It's a beautiful place to work, but the park is so big it takes too long for me to walk around. So they've recently launched a self-driving minibus. Get ready, I'm gonna say it again, fasten your seat belts and let's go. Next to me here is uh, Ted or Mr. Yin from uh, Kieri. You're the solution manager. Now this is the first ride that I've ever taken in a self-driving vehicle, let alone it being a bus. And this is somewhat of an experience. Welcome, Max. Thank uh, you. Yeah, this is your first time to take the, the Alamance yeah. bus. Yeah. It's a great experience, smooth, clean, free. <laughs> first of all, uh, this one, have uh, this bus has like a six men red lighter okay. uh, and the two millimeter wave radar and uh, with seven cameras and uh, combination navigator so we combine the the road and um, road map and we give the, the through the uh, fusion algorithm and then we we can have the solution for the automatic driver so so you mentioned seven cameras you mentioned radar yeah. a lot of communicating going on 5g network i can yeah. imagine right and this is all to guide the bus to make sure that its environment is safe and gives people a lot of confidence. So we just need to like uh, adapt the the map uh, in the uh, advance, and then we we put it in the system and the uh, combine the building algorithm and also the 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 map detection. The the bus will know will know by by itself. It does feel like a small community. We have mm. office towers here. We have hospitals, our schools, multiple yeah. schools, a yeah. park. We apparently have a park here as well. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a whole park. So second, this place is the the, the first one I think in in uh, Western China. Western China. I, uh, first park we use the autom autonomous uh, autonomous driving uh, environment. So yeah, we we can copy this model to other parks. Lots of stuff going on in this park here. We're seeing uh, the mapping system from, uh, I believe that's called Beidou. Is that one of the most detailed mapping systems in the world in China? Yeah, yeah. Uh, worldwide also, yeah. Wow, that's, that's impressive. These roadside units have to communicate to the vehicles. Yeah. Also, also the MEC, like uh, MEC is uh, um, the mobile uh, edge co computing and equipment. So the, uh, the, these two uh, equipments, they will send the signals to the um, vehicles and uh, to connect uh, the the real time uh, communications. Actually, we can we have three um, situation uh, automatic situation here. Mm -hmm. One is um, the uh, automatic uh, bus and uh, self driving uh, sani sanitary vehicle and also the smart delivering cars. This with three combined three uh, uh, automatic uh, driving system, we can have all show up all show up on the, this big screen. So then uh, we can monitor all the all the stuffs here. The, with uh, the, the the cameras, so um, the operation guy, you can have some uh, emergency situation. Wow. He can just uh, take over and uh, handle it very uh, efficiently and also immediately. Imagine a community that has to speak to cars or new energy vehicles or collaborating with satellites or 5G networks all around the world. Someone has to organize it, and this is the beautiful thing about you know big data and parks like this. This could be the future. Uh, they did like financial support, lower the taxes, and also they give, um, simplify the approval process. Yeah, and uh, from the, the talent service, they put uh, like put up lots of efforts uh, to build more 
uh, efficient and also the uh, attractive um, companies to just attract more, more and more people, talented people to come and join us. And also um, for, from the, the instruction side, uh, the government um, put a lot of uh, instructions and also the net put a lot of network um, to give like, uh, the, the network uh, environment um, to improve the, our, our uh, autonomous vehicles and performance. And uh, finally, they give us um, like uh, the industry support. Uh, they build an in industry park, also the, the communities, just to try to get connected with all the companies and uh, to make the, the, the new change happen, yeah. Well, it's been a fantastic day here, and thanks to Mr. Yin, its platform system also shares data with Chongqing University of Posts and Telecommunications and other universities and scientific research institutions. With the escort of these researches, the hard work from these people here in this community, we can have a safer and more convenient ride experience like I did today. It was fantastic. It was great. Anyway, I'm Alex and these are my latest observations from here in China. We convey first-hand information on China's new energy vehicle industry, so please subscribe now, leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Take care.